Utah ranks number eight in the nation for suicide. And Intermountain Medical Center experts say a main cause is depression. A new study completed by researchers at IMC say depression can also lead to heart disease. In our continued partnership with Intermountain Medical Center, we find out why screening is key to limiting the negative effects. Back in December, Intermountain Medical Center unveiled a new inpatient psychiatric unit. The facility went from just seven beds to 50. If we can get people into either outpatient or inpatient treatment, we can hopefully keep those bad outcomes from happening and improve patients' lives and get them back to their old selves. If not, the effects could be deadly. Intermountain Medical Center cardiovascular epidemiologist Dr. Heidi May leads the team of IMC researchers who screen for depression. We categorize patients based on those results into none to mild and moderate to severe. And they found that people with depression have up to four times greater risk of developing cardiovascular disease, but also found treatment. Antidepressants um, can reduce someone's risk of cardiovascular disease. You can see a busy pharmacy at Intermountain Medical Center. Dr. May says the recent study shows that these popular antidepressants treat depression and lessen the effects on the heart. But the social stigma remains. In the past, it's been a little taboo, but I think throughout the years, people have talked about it more, and hopefully they can feel comfortable with their clinician. The death of Robin Williams pushed depression into the spotlight and helped develop a conversation. And it's that conversation that Dr. May says needs to continue so patients can get help to prevent a crisis down the road. They really need to realize this is a real disease. Um, it's just not something that's conjured up, you know, and, but it's a real disease and it needs to be treated like one. Now, Dr. May and other Intermountain Medical Center experts presented this study to the American College of Cardiology's 64th Annual Scientific Session in San Diego. She says future studies will help define the relationship between depression, antidepressants, and cardiovascular health.